Orlando Magic HQ was popping. Magic fans, I hope you guys are just as excited and just as hype as I am sitting here, me making this video and you guys here watching this video right here, right now. We are one week away. Say it with me. We're one week away from the start of the 2023 season for our Orlando Magic. Granted, it is just the preseason. The Magic just had media availability date yesterday as I record this video. And not only me, but the entire Orlando Magic HQ staff, we are here to provide you with content and analysis throughout the entire season. It is going to be a phenomenal season. This is one of the most highly anticipated seasons for the Magic in recent memory, maybe since we've made our playoff runs in 2018 and 2019, and the Magic had a nice corn foundation with Aaron Gordon, Evan Fournier, Nikola Vucevic, DJ Augustine, the whole nine. Now we're getting year three Franz Wagner, year three Jalen Suggs, second year of Paolo Bancaro, Wendell Carter, the entire roster. There is so much to look forward to with this team. And man, I'm excited to be watching the games. I'm excited to be attending the games, covering the games, and just providing you guys with analysis throughout the entirety of the season, man. And it's just going to be an awesome season for all of us Magic fans. We are going to make a lot of noise this upcoming season. But as you guys can tell from the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about five bold predictions for the Orlando Magic this upcoming season. Now I'm gonna go from one to five. One is gonna be a semi-bold to all the way to five as we progressively go up the list. It's gonna keep getting bolder and even bolder of a take. So number five is gonna be extremely hot. Number one is gonna be semi-bold, but I'm extremely excited to share this list and share this video with you guys. So let's get into the number one. Now the first bold take I have for the Orlando Magic this upcoming season is that both Paolo Bancaro and Franz Wagner make this year's all-star team. Now, when you briefly talk about Paolo Bancaro, Magic fans, you guys don't need me to address how great and how talented Paolo Bancaro is. PB5 in his rookie season in 72 games, put up historic numbers that we have not seen since the likes of LeBron James. He historically had a phenomenal rookie season up there with some all-time greats. He still did not get the respect that he deserves. He did not get that unanimous rookie of the year award in which he rightfully deserved. Paolo Bancaro is a special talent and one of the least talked about number one overall picks I felt like and a lot of that had to do with the market that he plays in which to me is completely unjustified and unfair because to me Paolo Bancaro is a special talent you don't need me to reciprocate that to you guys but when you talk about a guy in Franz Wagner going into year three from the 2021 draft class Franz Wagner can do it all, right? I mean, this is one of the most electrifying, young, talented players in the game of basketball today. A guy who's a true Swiss army knife. Offensively, Franz Wagner can step out of the three-point line, run the pick and roll. He can finish at the rack, acrobatic layups, dunks. This guy can pull up from the mid-range. He can dish the ball. Offensively, he does everything you want to see. Defensively, he's got versatility on the perimeter and inside the paint, and he always is out there giving 110%, just a very intellectual player. Franz Wagner, to me, is a fringe all-star going into this season, and I think he's going to be able to ascend himself and get over that hump. Paolo Bancaro, to me, is a lock for the all-star game this upcoming season. After what we saw from him in his rookie season, I don't think there's any way you can take away what Paolo Bancaro did and how he's only going to continuously get better, especially with all of the reps that he got playing for the Team USA at FIBA this offseason. Now getting into my second bold take for the Magic in 2023, it's that Cole Anthony will win the Sixth Man of the Year award. Now Cole Anthony only started four games last season for the Orlando Magic in 26 minutes per game. He had career highs in terms of efficiency across the board for his numbers. He had career highs in shooting field goal percentage at 45% from the field, 36% from deep and 89% from the charity stripe. And while he only averaged 13 points a game, that is because he was coming off the bench and he embraced that combo guard scoring bucket getter role off the bench. And we know Cole Anthony can be extremely streaky. There's times where he goes out there and he's not hitting anything, but Cole Anthony is a true definition of a bucket getter in the NBA, a great combo scoring guard, a guy who is capable of playing the one and the two, a guy who's extremely capable of playing on and off the ball in the pick and roll offense, being able to create for others, and a guy who can attack the rim and step out to the three-point line. Cole Anthony is a phenomenal six man. I think he's really going to be in the contention at the end of the season for the Sixth Man of the Year award alongside other guys like Norman Powell, Emmanuel Quickly, Malik Monk, the list goes on. 
Cole Anthony has embraced this six-man role, and I think that this is truly where he's gonna be successful in 2023 for the Orlando Magic. Now I'm getting into my third bold take for the Orlando Magic in 2023. It's that Jalen Suggs will make all NBA defensive team. Now with all NBA teams, you're gonna have 15 players that make that list. With all NBA defensive teams, you have 10 players that make that list. I can absolutely see Suggs make an all NBA defensive team, in my opinion, right? Outside of Jonathan Isaac when he's healthy, and that's a big if, Jalen Suggs is the most consistent defender on the Orlando Magic by far. And even though he has missed 79 of 184 potential games with a lot of injuries, when you look back at his time with concussions, a lot of ankle injuries, he's had some thumb injuries, Jalen Suggs is a hard-nosed defender, a guy who goes 110% on both sides of the floor. And to me, this guy's ceiling is still limitless. He is nowhere near his full potential, and he's only been in the league two years. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at Jalen Suggs' defensive numbers. Now, in his second season last year, Jalen Suggs was in the top 10% among all guards in the NBA in steal percentage, block percentage, offensive rebound percentage, and guarded the opponent's primary ball handler 81% of the time. Per 75 defensive possessions, Jalen Suggs averaged two steals and 3.7 deflections. Both of those numbers would rank him in the top 10% in the entire association. The Orlando Magic also had a 111 defensive rating with Suggs on the floor, which was 2.7 points better per 100 possessions than the team average without Jalen Suggs on the court. And when you also look at the defensive numbers when Jalen Suggs was inserted into the starting lineup, when he was in place of Gary Harris in the starting five, the Magic had a 102.4 defensive rating and a plus 11.3 net rating. Jalen Suggs, to me, is the clear and definitive. He's been all offseason starting two guard for the Orlando Magic, and he's the future two guard for the Orlando Magic moving forward. I think the Magic and Jamal Mosley will roll out with Markel Fultz, Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, Paolo Bancaro, and Wendell Carter as their starting five. When healthy, to me, that is the best starting five combination. And Jalen Suggs is one of the most tenacious defenders on the perimeter. This guy goes 110%. This is an all NBA defensive type of guard and a guy who's extremely versatile, extremely quick and agile on the defensive end, makes a lot of great reads. Jalen Suggs will make all NBA defensive team this year. I'm very confident in that. Now getting into my fourth bold prediction for the Orlando Magic in 2023, it's that Paolo Bancaro makes all NBA this upcoming season. Now, like I alluded to earlier, the all NBA team is 15 players. There are huge incentive bonuses when you talk about making all NBA. Paolo Bancaro has those capabilities. From what we saw from Paolo Bancaro in his rookie season, a guy who averaged 27 and four on 42, 29, 73 splits. Yes, we've seen Paolo Bancaro struggle to shoot the ball consistently, but anybody who's watched Paolo Bancaro consistently and have watched the Magic continuously knows that this guy was consistently double and triple teamed. This guy did not have a lot of floor spacing to work with, especially when he did not have his primary ball handlers and guys like Markel Fultz and Cole Anthony there, something I'll get into in a little bit. Paolo Bancaro, in terms of his efficiency and usage percentage, yes, they were not the best, but Paolo Bancaro is going to dominate and have a phenomenal sophomore campaign. We've seen the likes of a Kevin Durant, an all-time great shooter and an all-time great scorer. He didn't even shoot 30% from behind the arc in his rookie season playing for the Seattle Supersonics. There is nothing to be concerned about with Paolo Bancaro and his shooting. He is only going to continuously get better. He's gonna improve on his shot quality, his shot selection, being able to dish the ball and also being able to take it to the rim more often and finish through contact. I expect him to be a guy who's gonna be in the contention to make an all NBA type of roster. And I think when you look at the Eastern Conference, especially and how top heavy it is, in my opinion, Paolo Bancaro is gonna be right there in the running for that. Expect nothing but great things from Bancaro in his sophomore season. Now my final and bold take for the Magic in 2023, by far the boldest take I have, and maybe the most unrealistic, but you know what? I think that there is a realm and a possibility out there where it can happen. The Orlando Magic will not only make the playoffs, they are going to win a playoff series. And the most likely scenario in which this happens is if the Orlando Magic avoid a matchup in the first round with the Boston Celtics or the Milwaukee Bucks. Let's just say for the sake of argument, the Bucks and the Celtics are gonna be the one and two seed in the Eastern Conference. If you can avoid those teams, you're giving yourself a very good shot with a very good young scrappy team that's only gonna continuously get better. If you can get matched up with the New York Knicks, a Miami Heat, or a Philadelphia 76ers 
team in which Joel Embiid has not been a great playoff performer and they're going to be moving off of James Harden, you're giving yourself a very good chance in order to go out there and make some noise. Maybe they don't win a playoff series, but they have a damn good chance of doing it, especially if we think that this team can reach its potential in year three under Jamal Mosley, under Paolo Bencaro in year two, you know, year three of Franz Wagner, this entire core. And let's just take a look at the primary ball handlers and how much of a significant difference Markel Fultz really makes for this team. The Magic last season were five and 17 prior to Markel Fultz coming back had a 5-17 record. As soon as he came back, the Magic finished off 29-31 and 31 with Markel Fultz there. Expect big things from him this season, how much he means to this offense and how much he means to this team, how much his jumper has been fixed, the confidence that he plays with, and the confidence that he brings to the team around him. The Magic are a completely different team. When they have Markel Fultz and Jalen Suggs in the backcourt, those are going to be two key contributors to the success of the Orlando Magic this upcoming season. And the Magic have a real possibility, in my opinion, of winning a playoff series that is definitely a bold take, but I don't think it's far-fetched. But Magic fans, we want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. It takes one second and it helps me in the channel out tremendously. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Orlando Magic content that we do here on YouTube. And make sure you guys also go ahead and follow Orlando Magic HQ and myself Brett and James on Twitter. We're both very active and we're on there every single day. The link tree will be in the description down below so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. But Magic fans, that's it for this video. Thank you guys again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett and James, aka BJ, I'm out y'all. Go Magic, baby. Peace.